Do a little painting. Yeah, I wish I agreed with that. Remember in the Batman from the 80s where the Joker was played by Jack Nicholson and all of his like gadgets were pink and green? If you gotta go, go with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was the coolest color scheme. This showed up in the mail. It says, dry shampoo. I don't know what that is. Somebody sent this to Carly, but care of Casey, which means, well, I don't know what that means, but I think it means that I can use it. I don't know how dry shampoo would work. Holy smokes. Whoa, it smells like my grandmother. Oh, good God! Kids, I would recommend not using dry shampoo if you care at all for your safety or for the life of your hair. Do not, do not put this stuff on, especially near a fire. Okay, I'm gonna stop. It smells like an old folks home in here. I'm trying to finish my movie and Canon's cameras have a really bad habit of just deciding to stop recording and it just gives you an error message that says, movie stop recording. I just lost like a whole bunch of footage that I thought I had shot. Candace gets pretty mad at me when I smash things, but. Okay, let me go get another camera and get back to my movie. Blessing, blessing. I've been using this more and more and See those two little holes right there and right there? Those are the microphone holes. I gotta put this little fuzzy thing over the microphone hole so it doesn't get so much wind noise. The trouble is, look, and then look. So somehow I've gotta put this between these two movable. Hey! Oh! All right. And now there's no wind noise. Gotta go. Do you need help? I can fix it. Yeah, I can fix that. Really? With the brake, huh? Yeah. Let me see. Where's the... I can. Try it now. Good? No problem. So much. You're Thank welcome. You. Best of luck. Thanks. Welcome to New York City. I can fix anything. There's the girl whose bike I checked right there. Bye bye. bye. Remember those uh, 
Look at those glasses I used to wear that had like the white. The reason why I haven't been wearing them, it's not a deeply philosophical reason, it's just that I lost them. And making a new pair is a tremendous pain in the ass. That place didn't have them. Golden black. Yes, we did. Hundred and ninety Here's me, here's me, here's my camera. So twice in the last week I've accidentally gotten on the, um, on the boosted board and I hit the gas full speed and the board's flown out from under me because I was standing on it backwards. So I just want to more clearly label which is the front and which is the back. And this also happens to be a perfect excuse to use this spray paint which is literally the Beam logo color spray paint to mark which is the front and which is the back of the skateboard. Fixed. Hold on, I gotta get high. That, uh, that took me like an hour and 45 minutes to put together. Casey, I want to say thank you for the razor. For your... Oh man, I'd like to give you this bike for Owen. I thought this was for me. Peter Disco at Swobo Bikes. Thank you so much for this bike for Owen. Uh, I'll make sure that he gets it only after I take it for a test ride. Sort of safely made it onto the roof. All right, camera is rolling behind me here. Camera is in kind of a precarious position here in that it's a heck of a drop if the right gust of wind comes and blows this thing down. Also, not totally unrelated, I can't quite figure out what's going on in this window over here. Back here, rifling through all my stuff. Find anything interesting back there, boy? Somebody sent me this. Do you want to try and open it? Why would they send it to you locked? I don't know. Probably so I could open it. I mean, there are no keys here. 
Let's open it. Did it burn you? No. Casey, we're fans of your movies. We shot a short film called Drone Blender that has been chosen as an official selection at the New York City Drone Film Festival. We thought you'd appreciate the destroyed drone from our film. Dear Billy and Damien, I do appreciate your ingenuity and I thank you for sending me your busted, busted, busted drone. We wish you the very best of luck at the Drone Film Festival. I looked through all my old footage and the only the only content I could find of this studio space when it was really raw was the raw footage, the unedited footage from a from a, a commercial shoot that my brother and I did for a fancy tote bag company called Jack Spade. And to show off the durability of their bags, we thought we would fill up one of their tote bags with fireworks and light it off and then show that the bag could withstand the explosion. Um, and in the process, we accidentally lit the entire studio on fire. Uh, just as a disclaimer, this was a much younger, much more irresponsible Casey than the adult married father of two that I am today. Please do not try this at home. One of my favorite parts of living in New York City is anytime you need anything, you can get it, usually within walking distance. What's the difference between this and like PVC? Do you know which one's stronger? Okay, so I should do a little research yeah. on PVC before mm -hmm. making the decision. Okay, yeah. that's fair, thank you. You know, I really thought a place called TNT Plastic Land would be able to suit all of my plastic needs, but they didn't. See, this is what I was thinking. It's like the least pretty, but I think it's cheap and easy to work with. We don't have it. You don't sell PVC? Yes, sir. We don't have the PVC. Let me check the building supply. They building have the, supply. Yeah, they have a lot of the PVC pipe. The PVC pipe. Okay, yeah. thank you very You're much. Welcome. Oh, for two. All right, to the building supply store. These are all the little joints that will hold together the plastic pipe. I hope. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but this feels right. What's up, Stan? How are you? How are you? I'm good. All right. Yeah, no, it's okay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay. Do you like that? <laughs> he thinks that's funny. I'm a little bit torn because I have all the materials to like this thing. But I promise. Hold on a second. 
but I promised Jesse I wouldn't reveal what we're making for his movie. So I'm gonna sort of show me building it, but not all of it because I can't jeopardize a friend's trust, even for the vlog. I hate to do this, out of fairness to Jesse, I am going to stop vlogging this construction project. You're about to see some skateboard footage that was not shot on this thing. This is the stabilizer I used the other day. So expect shaky, rocky, normal looking skateboard footage. You might remember this place from the Mother's Day vlog. Whoa. Thank you for my balloons. You're welcome. This is my favorite store in New York City, by the way. Was that good? That's perfect. Okay. Don't edit it. I won't edit that out, I promise. I was in the last one. I'm you were in the last one. <laughs> These are what I needed. Got the balloons. Now I need cigarettes. Can I have a pack of Parliament cigarettes, please? Bye bye. All right, it's gonna make me throw up. That's why I wanted your help. I mean, I can, like, I'll smoke a little bit, but not a lot. Kids, don't smoke. Also, don't try this at home. Also, just don't smoke in general. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't ever smoke cigarettes. Well, we'll, I'll, we'll fill one up a little bit and then let it, the smoke out and see kind of how okay, it Okay, okay. Let's see, let it out in front of the camera. I feel like that's pretty smoky. Yeah, it's pretty smoky. Oh, 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 I would definitely get a throw up. Something went into my lungs. Can't see because it's smoky. I don't see any smoke. Much. That's pretty smoky. To pop the balloons, why not just use the propane torch? It should work. All right, blow torch lit. Business, let's talk, okay. Blow it slowly so it lingers. More smoke. All right, I'm not sure that that's gonna work. <coughs> that did succeed in making both Jack and me sick, but I guess here goes the new intro. Roll it. Candace, I dropped the worst thing I could have possibly dropped. Yes. What do I do? Yeah. <sighs> oh, this isn't going to end well at all. Daddy's trying to get his bike down. Construction workers put my bike up in the loft here, but it's down now. Minimal casualties, just this. And the paint can, of course. I haven't ridden my bike in a while because it was trapped in my apartment. 
see my apartment's been under construction. And the entire time it was under construction, my bike was sort of like stuck up in the loft. But it's back. So sick of waiting for this thing to come back. This is my good camera. It just came back from repair at Canon. This is like the third or fourth time I've had to have this thing overhauled. And Canon, as much as I love their gear, they're not super cool about fixing it when I break it. This is how much this camera costs to get fixed. Yes, $1,126.71. Anyways, good to have you back, big guy. First, I gotta make some props. <laughs> Read what that says? That is a fluorescent light that hangs above my office door that says work harder. It also says the same thing tattooed on my wrist, just in case I forget. These things just showed up in the mail. I'm gonna try to install it. Roman Atwood swears by these things. And in fact, I only ordered these because he told me to. But they're little like microphone windscreens for your point and shoot so the sound isn't all like. All right, let's do a little before and after test. This is without the windscreen. <gasps> okay. All right, seems like it's on there. Okay, and this is the after test. This is the test after I put the windscreen on there. <gasps> Roman Atwood, you are a genius. All right, look, how ge look at this genius. So what he does is he builds like a rig that holds one phone and the other phone in the same position so you can perfectly compare one camera to the other camera. Sap, I will link your channel below. These do have those sticky pads on the bottom, but they just don't stick super well to plywood, so that's why I put the screw in to make sure. <laughs> military grade selfie stick right here. I don't actually think the military uses selfie sticks. It doesn't, the thing doesn't fit in the... Cameras are still charging, but this feels like it could actually work. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I'm back in the office. That was a very, very cold little adventure. My camera batteries froze, my cell phone battery froze, and eventually my skateboard battery all froze. They all stopped working. I think this is a bicycle. You know, people send me all kinds of stuff. I never ask for any of this. I always appreciate it. You know, as big of a biker as I am, I don't think I've ever fully assembled a bike before. The switchblade is not the best tool for cutting zip ties. These are. Nice. Putting the pedal on. Now I gotta put on the brakes. Front brake. All right. I think that's it. Thank you for the bike. Thank you for the bicycle, mango bicycle. That's very sweet of you. I also really appreciate this detail. Don't think that I missed it. Beam green, beam logo. See, hard work, working hard is my unfair competitive advantage. No matter what you have that I don't have, I can always compensate, I can always make up for that by working harder than the next guy. Hard work and tenacity. Just gotta keep working hard and never, ever, ever, ever stop. I'm doing a, a little construction project. Kind of a fun story behind it. The, the origins, the history of this studio goes all the way back to 2003. Whoa! Whoa. Go all the way back to 2003. Now, in 2003, my brother Van and I worked together, and Van was in Germany for work, and it was my job to get us a studio before he got back from Germany. What I found was this space. There was a wall here. Like, this was a wall. And beyond here, we didn't have. So it was just this room. Now, when we moved in here, we had no furniture. We had nothing. And on one of the mornings, like one of the first mornings here in the office, I drove by a dumpster outside of an elementary school. And in that dumpster were a whole bunch of children's chairs for their desks. And we got this chair and sawed off the back and turned it into this stool. And ever since then, like this has been my favorite stool ever, but the wood is like completely crumbling. So I'm just gonna fix it.
Now, no matter what happens for the rest of my life, on this day, I will have accomplished something. This is the day that I repaired my stool. Now, you may have noticed in previous episodes that my boosted board, my boosted board has a gigantic green arrow on it. This arrow is to delineate which direction is the front from which is the back. They put this little tiny orange arrow there for you, but that's, uh, that's pretty easy to miss. And if you stand on this thing, and you think that this is forward, and that this is backward, and you hit the gas to go, and it flies out from under you, that's a quick way to break a hip. So the arrow here, it, it solves for that problem. Now, with the advent of the... The Boosted Mini is asymmetrical, meaning the tail is a different shape from the nose, so it's very easy to distinguish the front from the back. I guess what I'm trying to say with this is that I still feel a bit of a compulsion to make this, to make this mine in some capacity. Huh? What do you think? Bro, why do you have to write your name in front of every single thing you own? Tell me people know it's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the question I was asked the most is, how do you make a viral movie? Here's a quick recipe. The technician. This red flag here, this is New York City. And all the way over here, this blue flag here, this is Cape Town, South Africa. Opposite sides of planet Earth. So my desk here is almost done, but I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, all of this valuable desk surface real estate is being occupied by these stupid like feet for these monitors. And I had an idea. Now I highly, Highly recommend you do not try this at home. This monitor was not made to be wall mounted. Even if it were, I'm not giving Best Buy 50 bucks for a mount that I can make out of a piece of plywood for 50 cents. All right, so my thinking is that these plates here will act as a mount for the wall mount. This is the wall mount that I made. Mm, that feels good. Ha! Totally works. <laughs> Only the three computer monitors are finalized and set up, but I got all eight monitors hung, and I've got two more to go tomorrow, but this is progress.
Does that look clear? Am I in focus? Crispy? Yeah. Yeah, I said you under your mani. You know what I'm realizing as I open this for you? My hand is a little messed up. Can you hold it? I lack the strength. Are you even pulling? I, my hand is well, broken. Then pull. You lack the strength. Okay, wait, you wait, have wait. feeble arms. You have to, we have to loosen it somehow. I can put it in the vise. What's the vise? No! Oh, God. Here. No! <laughs> you, just, you, you can't do it. It's stuck. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, I don't have glasses. Maybe I have a glass. It doesn't taste like it's been sitting on my shelf for four and a half years. I, isn't wine supposed to sit on shelves for a long time? That's true. Oh! Wait, did it just happen? Oh yeah. yeah. Careful, it's sharp on the back side. It has a little glue. Let me see if I can get the metal bit off the bottom. It's glued on there really well. Keep that. It didn't, that didn't happen. Okay, all right, what now? So the rest of this is completely solid. So if we're gonna get into this, I don't think there's gonna be diamonds, but uh, okay, we're just gonna- Okay, let me just show yeah, the logo here. This one's actually mine. Congratulations on passing 10 million subs. Okay. <laughs> I love that we're doing this. Just kind of open this Do you guys know how to use a chop saw? Like safety, we have a saying. You know, some people say like, safety is our number one priority. We're like, safety is in our top five. So, I don't know. That's a terrible idea. Look, this is actually mine. Uh -oh. I just blew a fuse. It? Did it work? Yeah, it came on. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow on the show where I cut in half my Tesla. What? In any event, I have a YouTuber that's coming by right now that I'm very excited for you to meet. But first... She's here. Hello! Wait, wait, am I looking? Is yeah. It right there. Yeah, right there. There. Right got there. it. Okay, got it. Molly, before you go, I made a present for you. What? Okay, it's here. Oh my goodness, do I have my own Casey sunglasses? Yes, I made you a custom <laughs> pair of my sunglasses. Let's see how they look on you. They look great on you. Look at this. I even engraved your name on the side. Oh. I engraved a note on that side, and then. What, then... what does it say? Thank you. Okay, let's put them on, and we'll take a. We'll, let's see how we both look with our. They look good on you. They fit you very well. So Tom, I'm making this little movie as a demo for you, but in practice runs, I lit all my hair on fire. So you take your paper towel or potato, jam it in there. Then you take your Lysol or what have you. Little spray in the bottom. Then you fire at will. What the hell? Thanks 
Thanks for the birthday present, Tom. Organization is everything. It's what separates us from the rest of the animals. There's a specific place for everything, always. And this is the story of my little red boxes. There's a total of 39 red boxes across seven shelves. They're a means of codifying the chaos that is hundreds of tiny things. I never really know what I'm gonna need, so I try to keep everything on hand all the time. The hard part of that is keeping track of it all. See, it's easy to keep track of things like my skateboard or chainsaw or my body armor. But when I need my 3 200th silver bearing solder, to keep track of that, you need a system. Because there's more than one item per box, they could never be organized alphabetically. There's an intuitive methodology behind grouping similar items. One will always be more like the other. This is the premise for my box organization. You're looking for markers, and at a glance you see white out, you know you're close. Adversely, if you're looking for one and a half inch door hinges and see USB cables, you're looking in the wrong place. Hinges are near mending plates, mending plates are near zip ties, zip ties are near Velcro, Velcro are near rubber bands. Get it? Out of clutter, find simplicity. So, those are the boxes. They weren't very expensive, and I don't remember where I got them. I wanted to shoot this fun scene in today's vlog using my big camera, but then I noticed that the batteries were dead. And then we didn't have the right battery. I'm gonna go to the store to get the right batteries for the right microphone, and then come back and then shoot the scene for the vlog. I just deleted the rest of my footage. That sucks.